Anyway, free software means software that respects the user's freedom. Now, to be more specific, there are four essential freedoms. Freedom zero is the freedom to run the program any way you like. Freedom one is the freedom to study the source code and then change it to do what you like. Freedom two is the freedom to distribute copies to other people. And freedom three is the freedom to publish a modified version so others can get the benefit of your improvements. I like to call freedoms one, two, and three the freedom to help yourself, the freedom to help your neighbor, and the freedom to help build your community. Freedom one, the freedom to help yourself, is the freedom to study and change the program. The freedom to help your neighbor is the freedom to distribute copies. And the freedom to help build your community is the freedom to contribute your improvements. Now, these freedoms are not really something new. It may be new to people to encounter these freedoms for software, but lots of people are used to these freedoms for something rather similar to software, namely recipes. A program and a recipe are similar, but each of them is a series of steps to carry out to get the results you want. Now, it's true there are differences as well. A recipe is carried out by a cook who's thinking, whereas a, a program is carried out by a machine. But for this comparison, it's the similarities that matter because cooks are accustomed to using recipes freely whenever they want to. And cooks are also accustomed to looking at the ingredients, for instance, to see if there's anything that Joe is allergic to, say or anything that uh, Joe doesn't like the taste of, or that the cook doesn't like the taste of. Or, and cooks are accustomed to changing recipes for various reasons. Cooks also are accustomed to making copies of recipes for their friends, getting recipes from their friends. It's a little bit less common to write down your changed version of a recipe and make a copy for other people. But people do that, too. So it's the same for freedoms that cooks are accustomed to for recipes. So imagine if someday the government starts saying that if you copy or change or share a recipe, then you're a pirate and they'll put you in prison for years. Imagine how angry people will be. Well, that's the same anger that started the free software movement. I said, how dare you try to stop me from changing software? How dare you tell me that I can't be a decent person by sharing software? I said, I refuse to live that way. I said, I won't stand for that non-free software. So I was determined to get it out of my life, to reject it. And that required a lot of work and that work is the free software movement.